What's up guys, I'm Rhett. Welcome back to Lawn Insider. In today's video, you are just gonna follow me around the lawn while I mow and put out a bug treatment. So here's what the lawn is looking like right now. And we are not at our best right now. I'm gonna show you all a few spots, just walk around the yard for a little bit. And we'll start off right here. Of course, we're in the shade, so hopefully y'all can see it okay. But there's a spot right here that is a little yellow and it's thinned out some. The blades have really thinned out. And I'm not sure exactly what the problem is. I assume that it's either water related and possibly bug related. We are still on the once every other week water restrictions and we still have been really low on rain. A few weeks ago, we did get a little break from that, but we've gone back to another dry spell and naturally the water restrictions have prevented us from watering. So I haven't had water on this lawn in probably 10 or 11 days at this point. So I'm starting to get little hot spots pop up in a few places. This isn't a hot spot. This is just a little scalp damage from my last mow that you see here. And then another thing that you'll notice that's popping up across the lawn is we're starting to get some seed heads that are showing up. So over here in the corner, you can really see a few. So all these areas right here, you're starting to see these seed heads pop up. And remember seed heads, they're nothing to be alarmed about, but it does mean that there's some sort of stressor on the lawn and the lawn, uh, its reaction is to try to reproduce. So it shoots out these seed heads and there's not really much you can do about it except try to figure out what might be stressing the lawn. But at this point in the season, it could just be a number of things. And now over here on the side yard, see a spot right here. This is definitely heat or just lack of water related here. And I always get it in the same spot over here in the corner of my property. And it gets a little brown and you can always tell that it's really dry and the dirt is pretty compact in that area as well, regardless of how many times you come out here and aerate. So there's just something about that spot in particular, but you'll probably notice after you've been in your house for a few seasons that the dry spots or the hot spots usually pop up in the same areas year after year. And then we also have another part of the lawn over on this side that has these seed heads that have decided that they wanna show up. So let me pull one out here just so y'all can see an example, maybe a little bit more closely of what these seed heads look like. And when you're getting these seed heads, that's not even like blades of grass, it's more like the stalk of the Bermuda that you're mowing through. Your blade or your reel is gonna have a harder time cutting through these seed heads. And that's why you're gonna get kind of that white haze when you're finished as opposed to the green that you get after mowing the regular grass blades. And then another thing that's kind of been going on with the lawn is that I haven't put any nitrogen on it. So it hasn't had a fertilizer application in over a month. I am gonna put out some fert this upcoming week and hopefully I get that on video for y'all. Not today, but I am gonna put some fert out on it. So it is going to hopefully get a little green pop from that but that's kind of all the things that are happening in the lawn all at once and despite that laundry list of stuff we just reeled off after i get this mow in and blow those clippings back into the lawn we still should be looking pretty sharp and i wanted to remind y'all that we are still running a promotion on the lawn insider merch store if you use the promo code pigskin which is going to be one word all caps you'll get free shipping on your entire cart. And also, if you like this video, if you like the channel in general, make sure that you smash that thumbs up button and hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, so now I'm just gonna set y'all over here on the tripod, probably put us on a time lapse and get this mowing.
And here's the finished product after mowing and blowing the clippings back on the lawn. It's amazing what mowing and then the right lighting will do for your lawn because it's day and night from what it was a couple of hours ago. All right, now that I got the mowing out of the way, it's time to put out my bug control product. And I'm going the granular route today. And I'm just gonna use the rest of this bag of seven that I actually picked up last year whenever I made that army worm video. And I'm using the rest of it today. So I would say I've probably got about eight pounds or so in the hopper, which puts me right at about two pounds per thousand square feet of lawn. And at that rate, that's the medium rate on here. It says it controls things like annual bluegrass weevil, Bermuda grass mites, chiggers, clover mites, crane flies, mole crickets, spiders, so on and so forth. So if you want to get this product, I'm sure you can find it online. If I can find it, I'll put a link down below, but I actually just picked it up at Lowe's and I think it probably costs somewhere in the range of 10 to 12 bucks. It does need to be watered in after application. I can't water it in tonight, but it's okay if it sits on the lawn for a couple days. It's not gonna hurt anything, it's not gonna burn anything, and then I'll water it in probably on Wednesday. So it'll sit in the lawn two or three days, and then it'll get watered in on Wednesday. I might come out here on Tuesday, possibly, maybe Monday, and make a fertilizer app as well. So when I am able to water on Wednesday, I'll be watering in that fertilizer as well as this bug killer. I don't think I'm actually gonna put the application of this on the video, but I will jump in as soon as I'm done and close this out. All right, I just finished that seven application and I know I didn't say it earlier, so I did wanna mention that it is child and pet friendly. You just don't want them in the lawn while it's actually wet. And just like with any other granular product, you do wanna get your leaf blower out after you've made your application and blow the remaining product that got on the driveway and in the sidewalk back into the lawn and that application should take me into the winter time it says it lasts for three months if i do see any bug problems in the next you know month or few weeks i'll probably come out here and make a bifin application too which is a liquid product that i put out with my backpack sprayer but i'm going to go ahead and wrap it up right here guys i'll give you all one last parting shot of the lawn i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please hit that thumbs up button. If you're liking the content and you want to continue to see more of it, hit that red subscribe button below. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave those in the comment section below. I'll see y'all again next week. Lawn Insider, out.